In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up materials in your node tree and assign them to geometry. To do this, we'll need the material library node. So, let's make one. And double click the node to go inside. Here is where you'll be able to add materials to your scene. Supported materials for RPR include the USD preview surface, the USD UV texture, and the USD Transform 2D nodes, as well as Houdini's own principal shader node. Unfortunately, HDRPR is not currently compatible with materials built using shop or shader operator networks. HDRPR also does come with its own robust collection of materials and material settings. Simply type RPR in the tab menu to find this collection and experiment with what they can do. I recommend using the RPR Uber material for advanced adjustments and settings. For right now, however, I want to see Houdini's principled shader node. The reasoning behind this is I have a UV texture that I would like to use on this mountain. In my parameters, I'll go to Textures, go to Base Color, click Use Texture, and add my UV map. As you can see, nothing's happened yet because I haven't assigned it to my geometry. So let's do that. Going back to our node tree, I'll add an assigned material node. The assigned material node will allow you to take the materials you've set up in the material library and apply their properties to the primitives found in your scene. In the parameters, you'll find the Number of Materials option at the top, where you can perform multiple material assignments. Set this to the number of materials you want, or use the plus and minus button to add or remove assignments. In the Primitives parameter, specify the primitives you want to assign them a desired material to. The best way to do this is to use the Scene Graph tree. In your scene graph tree, drag the desired path into the primitives text box above in your parameters. After this, I will find the correct material path by locating it in the drop down option provided. And there we go. Let's select it. And there's our texture. In the next video, we'll set up our render variables and our render settings.